We're back with a bonus conversation you'll only see here on CBS News New York. What I didn't ask you about on the earlier uh, parts of our show was about crime on the subway and how you're doing in, in stopping it. Listen, breaking news, you know, May was down 13% over 2022. So that's very positive. Year to date, the first five months of 2023 um, were down 9%. The impact of the governor and the mayor's subway safety initiative is really recognizable. And, you know, we've had some high profile incidents that have gotten people alarmed, and I feel for the people who are involved and I also feel for people who who see that and 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 it worries them but the big picture is you're very safe on the New York City you know subway system and there are literally three crimes a day that involve any kind of violence or threat um, and on four million riders stats are pretty good so the extra cops are making a difference totally they really are and we got a, a, a great police chief in Kichan Sewell and we got a great transit bureau chief and a guy named Michael Kemper and he was a go-getter and we're pushing it pushing those cops out so one of the features of, of uh, exclamation point has been to throw some questions at you from sure. people in the street who have things that they want to ask you so our first question has to do with cleanliness Instead of focusing on making this pretty, why don't we make it this clean so we don't have so many rats everywhere? Is it possible to cl clean the subway stations a little better? They're really disgusting. Answer? Well, you know, we're, we're, we are hiring like 900 cleaners right now because during, definitely during uh, COVID, that was a force that you know, we couldn't keep up with all the cleaning we needed to do just to, to make sure we were being sanitary with, with the pandemic. So we're hiring a ton of cleaners. The, actually, the, I think the system is getting cleaner. Um, I don't promise, uh, I very much sympathize with Mayor Adams, but I don't promise that we're entirely going to eliminate rats. We are underground. We have a ton of water through our old fashioned uh, subway system. But um, the riders, you know, the riders are entitled to a clean space. We, we're definitely working on that. We're going to hold ourselves to high standards, and you can keep bugging us about it. Okay, so many people we spoke to expressed concerns and frustrations about this issue. I want to know why you refuse, why you refuse to get rid of this homeless situation. You're part of the problem. If you're not part of the solution, you're a part of the problem. As the nuns would say, Okay. Um, Homeless. Listen, you know, it's a real issue. Um, there are, there, we have been working really closely with the NYPD. What I think the, the commenter doesn't know is that every night all over the subway system, we set up operations at the end of line where we meet the trains. There are people who are, there are always a couple people on every train, not in every car, but a couple people on every train who are sheltering there. And we have, outreach workers and clinicians and nurses and social service professionals go to them and try to get them into uh, into the, the, the shelter system or to get into services. We also have cops there because if people are acting out, if they are in that category of people who are danger to themselves or to others, as Mayor Adams has emphasized, they need to be taken out, um, you know, uh, 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 against their will even if necessary so we're doing a lot the numbers have actually gone down but I'm sympathetic I think that everybody wants to be able to sit down and when you see someone lying down on the train that's a problem our officers at MTA but also the NYPD are under instructors to enforce the rules of conduct no lying down no acting out all that kind of behavior we want to make it much better for the riders and I think it's a fair point Last question. A few people had suggestions, believe it or not, to prevent fare evasion. Let's listen. Is there any way that there can be more, like, student cards or any cards that are, like, able to get kids around easier without all of the spending? Can we get a fair discount to every individual? That'll prevent us uh, having this fare evasion. Okay, two ideas. Any of them workable? Well, I think of the, uh, on the student issue, that's a fair point. A fair point. The, uh, in fact, our, our Blue Ribbon Commission in their report suggested that we expand the number of rides on the student metro cards because some of the kids are saying, well, on the weekends I have to go to basketball practice or to music, you know, music practice, and uh, technically I'm not uh, eligible for a free ride then. 
or after hours and so on. So that's something we're looking at. The city actually is our partner in determining what the, what the student metro card will allow. But I think that the point that, that the commenter made is, is one we're going to look at. We want to ki the kids to get in the habit of using swipes, taps now with Omni as well, um, while they're still in school, rather than get in the habit of, of fervating. I actually had, uh, you know, frequently get into this discussion with kids who I see trying to get in free, and frequently they have their student metro cards in their pocket. It's just that everybody's got in the habit of, 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 of walking through the uh, exit gate. That's what we want to deter by giving them more opportunity to, to ride for free. So before we end, I want to give you a free advertisement for your Omni plan. I took a bus. I used my watch, yeah. I tapped it, it was amazing. So thank you for that and thank you all for joining us as well.